Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 9.34 hours and I'm rocking out with my buddy Nathan back here. He's with Fence Consultants, which is a company located right up the street from us here, which is really cool. I love it when we can not only hire local, we can hire local local. That's where you can get water, right there. There's okay. a spigot right there. Now watch this. I'll show you the easy way to get right back to where you're headed. Because we can leave this right open now. Um, they're installing the fence around the transformer pad, so we're pretty excited about that. I'm gonna poke some people and see if I can get these vehicles moved out of your way. Okay. But you can go in and out this big door right here, so you don't have to march through the whole building down through the catacombs and all that. Okay. This will put you right in the parking lot. That's awesome. And since there's people out there with cameras and that, we can just leave this right open. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. And then it's it's right there. It's a nice straight shot. Yeah. So nobody's bugging you. Won't be a problem. We'll just need four or five gallons. Total oh, probably. hell, that's yeah. nothing. And that's I got nice. lots of buckets. If you need if you need buckets or anything. I got buckets, so we'll be all good. Okay. So the plan is today, you guys are going to set the fence posts. Yep. Those are going to cure overnight. Now, when you guys set a fence post, because I've, all I've seen you do so far is dig a hole, so I have no way of knowing this. I just want to see if I've been doing it wrong my whole life. When you set a fence post, you put the post in the hole, then you dump the concrete in the hole, and then you spray it water? No. No. See, no, I've been doing it wrong all these we years. Mix, we mix the concrete in a, in a wheelbarrow or in a mixer today. we got a couple small jobs, so we're just hand mixing it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we pre-mix the concrete. Sucks a lot harder and sets yeah. a lot quicker. So I've been doing it wrong my whole damn life. You can do it the <laughs> other way, but with something like this where we want to stretch it tomorrow, ah, okay. we're better off mixing the concrete. Okay. Otherwise, it takes three to four days for it to cure up. If okay. you pre-mix the concrete, it cures up a lot quicker. Okay. So. Cool. And that is a bad ass set of chopsticks you got there. <laughs> I have never seen them that look that nice. And these are cobalts. This is cool. Yep. All right. That's good, then, man. How deep do you go? Uh, 36 inches on these. Okay. Where's the other one going? Alright, I gotta get out of their way because they're shooting for serious video out here. Yeah, I got a nice shot of this butt because you were right where it needed to be. That's alright. They're, they're gonna do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, You'll I be know. cool. Um, they're gonna wrap in about an hour and a half when they do poke me and I'll come out and do the spiel thing and we'll rock out. Huh? Hey, Yeah, I don't want to bore you about. We'll see how, what can do well, we, we can't do lav mics on them. They're wearing neon green t-shirts and it's going to stick right out. I could, I could wear a mic if you want. We could do wireless out here with me, but I don't want to do wired mics. Still, in doing, uh, still doing a lab. I think... We'll just do on board unless the wind picks up or something. Yeah, it's, the wind's dead. It's nice out. Let's see what we can do. If the damn sun... That's why I want to shoot later. If the sun up, it'll give an hour and a half and the sun will be up high enough where it won't be directly in our face. Yeah. All right. Did you hit something mean? There's a piece of wood. Nasty little root. Right there. That ain't a root. Yeah, they had a problem out here with that stuff a while back. Just be careful, there's a gas line down there. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it did chip off in some pieces. Wow. Where's that coming from? That tree way over there? Yep. That's what I'm guessing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we hit we hit a few pieces of that when we had to set all the ground lines here. Every one of these goes to a ten foot ground rod hammered in down at the base. The high voltage labs on the other side of this. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. when you guys are done today, I'll show you the lightning machine. You'll yeah, like I heard it. you guys have lightning machine. Yep. Lightning, robots, all kinds of fun. Uh Best bet, bud, would probably be to get the saws all out. Cut that out of there? Maybe we'll cut that out of there. Alright. We're gonna try beating it out, but it's gonna be. They hit a root. It may be the entire drama of this whole thing, so go nuts.
Okay. I want to emphatically thank the members of the Geek Group IRC who made this possible today. Your donations took care of this fence. This is pretty cool. Unless multiple people sent tubes at the same yeah, time. I like tubes. Dog likes tubes. Omni, we got tubes. Yay! What's in the tube? Oh, cool. Thank you, sir. That's getting framed. That's getting framed and going in the high voltage lab. Came with paper. Cool. We have this. This is from Urel. Who is Massimo? Who is Massimo Conca? Chance. I just like to say Massimo Concas. This is cool. It's a Tesla poster. It's got the Niagara Generators, Wardenclyffe, Colorado Springs. This picture is fake. This picture has always been fake. This picture is fake. The it's double exposure. Proto Photoshop? Yes, it's, it's pre well, well pre Photoshop, but it's a fake picture that we actually duplicated once just for kicks. I have something from Chad, Mr. Dickens in Kansas City, Kansas, as opposed to the other Kansas City. It's a $20 donation. Thank you, sir. That's part of the fence. That's part of the fence. The fence that's being installed right now. This is from Mr. Hugh Test. No idea what it is with Hugh. You never know. He's supposed to be here. Any any minute. Any minute. He's coming. What's in? The oh, it's cute. Careful, there might be more in there. It looks like a little Mackie. Like a little bit of neck, which is good because we need a lot of little audio inputs. So this is, hey Todd! Yes, sir. Take a look at that. Oh. It's a little Mackie micro mixer. Hey, we can use that in one of the studios for our uh, yeah. setup here. It's it's got 12 inputs, it's got four mics, and then four stereo pairs. Yeah, that's 
beautiful. And it controls the internet. It says right here, internet. So this is designed for internet. Totally. Wow. Yeah, it's quite lovely. Standard IEC power supply, nice and easy. This is perfect for like one of the sub units. Pick cool. one. I trust you. Hi. Hi. What'd you do to your head? I chopped it all off. So, but it with the floofy. It's curly. It's got curls. Yeah. It's natural. It's totally not. It is. Right. If my hair's long and heavy. It's straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm raising it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I believe you. She has YB yet. Not about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Hugh. That's it for viewer mail. That's Kate up there, by the way. Todd's awesome wife who hates me. Just hates me. She throws rocks at my car. Oh, she left. Look at her. Look at mongering hate up there. Hate. 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 Oh! Kirchner's clan cousins! <laughs> That's the best I got. I'm going to see what people best, come up with. That's the best I could come up with, but we'll see what the internet comes up with. Oh, Alright, so what are you doing up there? I'm trying to fix the audio. Yeah? Nothing fun. There's a kid up there. I got, I got, is Potato up there? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Mrs. Miss Potato? What up there? We'll be back after this. We've got more to do. Why do we build awesome? It's not because we like showing off, though we do, and it's not because when science says, here's how the world works, we answer, great, now watch us bend it to our fucking will, though we definitely do that. No, we build awesome because we want to share the exhilaration we feel when we prove nature wrong, when we make something that shouldn't happen, or that can't happen, or that can happen but not whenever we please happen, goddammit. We want to spread the ability to take what the world gives you and turn it into something unexpected. We want to get people who would ordinarily be just bored or disinterested in math, science, and engineering to feel that spark. And we'll use irresponsibly loud noises and automaton-made handcrafts and musical fire and death rays and tiny stars and giant Newton's cradles and lightning machines and motherfucking robots to do it, because we can! You might not have the resources we do, but you can still get the people in your life excited about science. You want a tangible, recognizable, and it's worth mentioning easy to transport example of how humans can dictate the way our world works? Done. Solved. Shrunken coins. For instance, we take a US quarter dollar, coil copper wire around it, load it into our high energy physics laboratory's impulse generator, and for just an instant, dump frankly insane current through that coil, producing such powerful magnetic fields that the quarter compresses in on itself, to the size of a dime, yet retains all of its surface features. And it comes in an educational packet explaining the science behind it. Not that you'll need that, since you'll want to carry that thunderbolt in your pocket. Available at thegeekgroup.org, now for only $10. So just a quick look for you guys at home. This is our Renishaw probe system getting installed. Todd, tell us what you got there. What I got here is your Renishaw work probe. This here will set your work coordinates, set up your jobs, and also use them to measure your parts, depending on what you're gonna do with it. Just put the batteries in it. We'll let it sit there and finish its self calibration. Before I put the stylus in, then we'll put the stylus in, get it trammed in, and start calibration. Cool. And that's our little ruby ball. Yes. Alright, till 24. Yep. That's the highest number it has, right? Yes. All right. Well, you can set up it's 25 if you like. 24, 25. Do it as 25, because we'll never use 25, so that'll work. It has a 25th slot? Yes. Okay. I thought it was 24 plus 1, so I wasn't sure. Yep, 24 plus 1, so until 25 is active.
<coughs> this is going to take a while. You'll get to see it in the finished video. All right, 1941 hours. Now, Todd, tell people what they're looking at there. Explain to them what the What we got here about. is I have our indicator, 5 tenths indicator on the ruby of the stylus. And what I did is I used the jacking screws to tram this in. And right now we're probably somewhere around a tenth or so. Look, look at how much that needle moves as he spins that around. It doesn't get more perfect. That's beautiful. That's absolutely perfect. So that's that's what you want to see because if you get any more run out in it and say you have an operator that pulls this out of your spindle, gets it in, you know, 180 degrees around, when this thing calibrates, it calibrates, it comps out the actual run out that's in it. Okay. So that's why you want it close so after calibration is done, if you take this out, spin 180, that's going to be off. Yeah. So that's why you want it as close as possible. Same thing with the top of here. You gotta make sure that's straight. Then we're also getting real close, you know, tense. Okay. Cool. Are we gonna get that shot again? Yeah, yeah, let's do that again. Yes, sir.